Today I want to show you Lock 22, which is part of the Ohio Canal system way back when. And it's in very good condition considering that's a little bit tricky to get there. It happens to be in Groveport, Ohio. I'm going to show you how to do it and what to expect when you do get there. So come on, let's go check out the lock. Now if you're coming to see the lock by car, you just have to get to Groveport and get on either Groveport Road or Main Street and follow it out to the Groveport Rec Center and park there. For those coming by bike, you can use the uh, connector between Blacklick Creek and Groveport. Now obviously you'll head south and you'll follow that all the way down until you get to Groveport itself. Once the trail ends, you will cross Corbett Road and continue heading south. You'll notice some railroad tracks and the road becomes brick and that is Groveport. Now there is a shortcut to get to this, but um, basically as you get to Blacklick Street, which is the first stop sign, you'll notice that the municipal buildings are on your right. You can turn a left and you can follow that road down. There's an unimproved section of trail, which I have marked. You can follow that straight in. So again, it's a back way in and we'll actually talk about that at the end of our video. Continuing south on Front Street, we'll follow it all the way until we get to the traffic light. On your right side, you will see the town hall as well as the museum. They're in the same building. We will hook a left at this light and we will follow it all the way down until we get to the rec center. Whether by car or by bike, we will be working our way to the northwest corner of this particular park. The Ohio and Erie Canal, Lock 22, was constructed from 1830 to 1831 and is the only canal lock in Groveport. Constructed for $2,937, the sandstone lock is 117 feet long, 10 feet deep, and has a 16 foot wide channel. Although the metal bands are gone to hold the stones in place, otherwise it is well preserved. This lock's purpose was to raise and lower canal boats to meet the changing terrain. It was also a source of recreation as residents used its waters for fishing, rowboating, and ice skating. The canal basin at the western end of Lock 22 was a favorite spot for ice skating parties which is now full of trees. Working our way west along the unimproved trail, we're going to come across Groveport Blacklick Park. What is currently Blacklick Park used to be a dry dock and boat yard. The yard conducted a thriving business building and repairing different types of canal boats. 
The dry dock, however, incurred a particularly unusual expense in its operation. The canal boat coming in for repair floated into the canal water into the trestle of the dry dock. The dock was then drained of canal water into a natural stream. The dock owner was responsible for paying the state of Ohio for the amount of the canal water drained into the stream.